Sup, sup, sup. Guys, this is Baseball for FPC. And I know this video is coming out a lot later than I had originally intended, but hey, better late than never. So this is the Christmas game mode that was released uh, on the Christmas update for Interstellar Marines. And so I figured I'd dedicate an entire video to it because it's a pretty fun game mode. And so the basic idea is a random golden package spawns on the map. And it is everybody's job to run over and get it. So the first person who runs over and gets it becomes basically the souped up uh, Terminator, the TIM-101. And his goal is to basically wreak havoc on everybody else, while everybody else's goal is to kill him. And uh, once that, once the Tim has been killed, then another golden package will spawn, and it is up to somebody else to go and find it again. And then they become the Tim, and the process starts all over again. Once you're the Tim, you get a souped up weapon that basically is like a one or two shot kill, and I believe you get additional armor. I'm not sure about that, but I believe you do. Now, it is a free-for-all match throughout the entire duration of the game, and so this is where it causes a little bit of problems. So, I felt that it should have been free-for-all, um, like, up until somebody actually grabs the package, and then once somebody grabs the package, uh, then it should stop becoming a free-for-all, and everybody should go after the big gold guy. However, this generally doesn't happen. And this happened a lot more at the beginning, once this uh, update was first rolled out, than it did when I played it maybe uh, four or five days ago. But it can be really, really annoying when most of the people in the server don't know that this is actually a new game mode. And I saw this very often. Um, we would have... There's like 16 people in this server, not not in this particular server, but this game mode can support up to 16 people. And so when 12 of the people in the server don't realize that this is a new game mode, and so they continue just like going about their merry, merry way doing a free-for-all, and then the golden guy is running around wreaking havoc on everybody else, and he's racking up 80, 90 kills, it can get pretty frustrating when you and only maybe a handful of other people are trying to kill him. And so... Uh, that was the biggest problem that I found with this game mode, is that um, nobody would work together. And I don't know if that was intended, if uh, the developers were like, let's see how much teamwork we can get out of a, a group of random people. And uh, if that was the case, then <laughs> very little teamwork was ever used in this game mode, uh, which is unfortunate because... It's a really fun game mode, and I, I, I will say this, I, I don't want to bash on it the entire time, I did have a lot of fun playing this game mode, and when I played it, maybe four or five days ago, a lot more people actually knew what was going on and realized that, hey, maybe we should work together and actually try to kill this guy. And so I recorded this gameplay during that time, during that four to five days ago, and so people were actually gunning for me, like, groups of people were actually coming at me. They were not shooting each other, they were actually working together to try to take me down, because I actually managed to get the golden package quite a few times on this match. I didn't do terribly well, uh, but I didn't do terribly poorly either, so um, it was nice seeing a lot of people work together, but during that first week, week and a half, uh, when I was playing it consistently, uh, very it was very frustrating at times, because I would be gunning for the for the golden guy, I would be getting for Tim, but maybe only one or two people were, and so it's very difficult to take him down when, <laughs> when you're just working by yourself and like one other person, so a lot of frustrating times ensued, but it's good to see that for the most part that has died down and that people have actually figured out that this is a new game mode uh, and that they need to adjust their uh, playing style accordingly. So I was very happy to see that, although as I mentioned, or I don't know if I mentioned that in this, but uh, I don't think this game mode will be sticking around too much longer. I figure it'll be taken out in the next patch, um, which I figure will be rel will be coming out relatively soon, just because I can't imagine them keeping the christmas theme stuff all year, or at least another month or so. So I figure the next patch will be out pretty soon, and this game mode will be taken away. Um, so go ahead and play it now, because you probably won't see it again for another year, assuming that they put it in next year. Uh, one of the other things that I kind of had an issue with, although this isn't as big of an issue, is the fact that a lot of people would come in here to power level. 
and leveling is still enabled while you're the t while you're the TIM 101, the Tim. And so people would be able to rack up 80, 90 kills, and they would power level. They would just burn through all these levels really, really fast. And uh, I think that's something to consider once the levels actually start to unlock stuff. If they in fact start to unlock stuff, I don't know if that's the goal or not. Um, if they don't start to unlock stuff, then it's just a number next to your name, in which case this whole conversation right now is invalid. But if you do unlock stuff by gaining levels, then that is a definite issue to consider because a lot of people, really good people, would play this game mode and would just be able to burn through the levels. And so I would see guys who would get 60, 70, 80 kills uh, during one match of this, and they would just through the levels, uh, raising 10, 11, 12 levels uh, throughout one match. And so, uh, that's something to consider. Not a huge deal right now, at least, seeing as how uh, nothing is unlocked by raising levels. But, as the game uh, progresses, as it gets further into development, stuff might change, and uh, for, f for years down the road, if they implement this game mode again, something to consider. Maybe disabling the ranks for this particular game mode, uh, that would have been what I would have thought would have happened, but um, whatever the case is, it was still a really fun game mode, and I had a lot of fun playing it. Just a couple of gripes with it, but nothing that really took away from the experience of, of playing it at all, and just being this... <laughs> you you basically enabled cheats for one character. That That's basically what it is. The player who is the TIM-101, he basically has cheats, and uh, so it's really fun to be him. And it's really fun when a bunch of players work together to actively take him down. And so, uh, as I mentioned, a lot of players were actually working together. They were actually not shooting each other the first time they thought they saw each other, and they would try to take down the gold guy. So I was really happy to see that. I was really happy to see the teamwork that uh, evolved throughout the throughout the match. And, and I, I think that has something to do with a lot of people getting yelled at in the chat. Not in this particular game, but over the past couple of days, uh, over the past week or so. Just people getting yelled at, saying, What are you guys doing? Stop shooting each other. Shoot the big golden guy running around. He was always called the big golden guy. I've said that a few times in this in this video already. But uh, the big golden guy is basically the term to describe the Tim. And so... Um, a lot of people were getting yelled at, shoot the big golden guy, there's very few golden guys running around. And it was really funny, um, like the first week that this came out, is I would see a lot of people in chat saying like, what's the big golden guy, how do I get the special armor? And I was like, wow, this is really bad because these people don't understand that they're playing a new game mode and that the golden guy is killing them really easily and like all of these different events didn't connect for them, and so they were still going around just having their merry time shooting whoever they, they came across, and so I thought that was interesting and sad at the same time. I was like, yeah, this is pretty bad seeing as how the majority of the people on the server don't realize that this is a new game mode, so I think that was the biggest issue. People didn't, I guess, people didn't look at the change log for the new update. Um, people just didn't want to know. I don't know what happened, but there was a huge communication breakdown, and just the majority of people did not understand that this was a new game mode. So um, that was probably the the biggest issue, just the communication breakdown that was involved. Although I don't think that's that is definitely not the fault of the devs, because they put out a change log, they put it on the store page. It's just that people don't have a tendency to read stuff, and so um, that's just the fault of people in general. Nothing the devs can do about that. <laughs> unless, like, at the startup of the game, they put a huge flash that says, Hey, there's a new game mode. Don't join the server unless you plan on playing the actual game mode. Uh, but that's kind of overkill for something like this. But anyways, um, yeah, this was the this was the new game mode. It's a 20-minute long match, and it goes the full 20 minutes. It's basically whoever has the most kills at the end of the match wins. And... Uh, yeah, so we're like halfway through the match right now. I figured I'd, I'll, I'll kill off the commentary here in a minute. Um, but I just wanted to finally get this video up for you guys. I'm sorry it took so long. Um, but with the holidays and everything, everything's kind of been a bit busy. But uh, I'm glad I was able to get this out to you, or, or get it out to you before the game mode is actually uh, closed off. That would have been pretty embarrassing to actually to finally release the video as soon as... Uh, the devs take it down for the holiday season. 
But uh, yeah, so uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you guys for uh, sticking around and uh, showing support for the Interstellar Marines. The last video got the most views that I've gotten on an Interstellar Marines video, which I was kind of surprised because I wasn't too fond of the, the commentary that I did. Um, <laughs> I was kind of stumbling over my words for the most of the video, but for whatever reason, you guys gave it the most views. So I appreciate that. And I hope you guys stick around to see more Interstellar Marines videos. Um, so be sure to buy the game. It's a really fun game. And I would play this game mode in the next couple days before they take it down. So yeah. Uh, thanks for watching this video again, guys. And until next time. Later.
Yeah. 